Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. All right, guys, uh, we got uh, we got a special one here for you. Um, this is my first, officially my first box Marvel Legends without the plastic opening to see if the figures are actually in there. <laughs> so uh, today we're gonna see what we got, man. Um, hopefully, we got what is on the package right there. Uh, Marvel's Null. And Venom. If I'm saying Null, right, let me know. I'm not really for sure if it's Null or if it's... It has to be Null, right? I, I think I've watched other people's reviews and I think I've heard them say Null. Um, but yeah, here it is. We're going to do the moment of truth. Actually, let's do... <laughs> you know what? Let's, uh, let's take this off the stand right here and let's open them right now. Uh, let's see if we... Uh, if there is Marvel Legends in this box. Uh... This is the fear that we all have as collectors, right? Especially with Marvel Legends going from plastic, you know, to cardboard, which it doesn't... This is this is so freaking dumb, man. So freaking dumb. Why they took out the plastic for the windows. So, you're taking out plastic... The window... Plastic windows for plastic action figures to save on the environment. Okay, that makes... That makes perfect sense. Um... So yeah, let me cut this open. Yeah, that's that's really smart, Hasbro. A toy company that makes plastic action figures is trying to cut back the plastic. Uh, I guess they're making too much plastic, I don't know. So let's take out this, and hopefully we got them. And it looks like they're a weapon right there. Looks like the wing. And it looks like, and this, this is ridiculous too. Like, this is not beautiful at all. <laughs> and, yeah, looks like we got them all, baby. Let's take them out of the package, and this is so dumb. Um, if this was going to be a pass for me, but I actually had a really, really great idea for this Venom and Noel. Specifically, this Venom. And, yeah, he looks great. <laughs> He looks great. Wasn't planning on picking him up, but come on, man. You know I'm a Venom. I'm a Venom fan, so I'm a McFarlane fan. And yeah, he looks dope. He looks dope. Essentially the same body, you know, from the movie, movie uh, Venom. But damn it, he looks awesome, bro. And then there's two, the two pegs for his wings. Uh, let's take out. Actually, let's take out Null. And I've heard good things about Noel too, so. And yeah, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. Uh, <laughs> Face-wise, yeah, it could use some detailing. Nice, overall pretty nice. And then there's the size comparison right there, so you see how big Noel is compared to Venom. We'll do a size comparison in a moment, but let's take out all the other accessories. So Venom obviously does come with um, a head sculpt and interchangeable hands. Fist, should I say. So two, two fists, and then he comes with this smiling head, which I actually like. A, um, I don't know. I think I like it. I like this head a, a little bit better. But I do like the tongue hanging out, though. But at the same time, I do like, I do like when uh, Venom is smiling. He's got such a beautiful, beautiful smile. If I can hold this damn head! Beautiful smile, doesn't he? <laughs> well, let's take out, uh, what is this? Oh, more interchangeable hands. Probably for Noel. 
Oh, an interchangeable head. Yeah, I'm not going to do much with this head. Let me see. And then Noel does have a weapon as well. This awesome looking sword. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like Venom stuff on him. If you guys know the story of Noel, let me know because I have no idea. Very cool, bro. Very, very cool. And then, wings. Here are, how many wings does he have? Holy crap. Oh, there's four, four pieces. Yeah, these are some nice wings. So, yeah, they clip on kind of like the Sauron uh, uh, wave. Sauron thing. Sauron. Is it Sauron? Sauron. I have no idea how they clip on. I don't know which way is which. Okay, the wings are in. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been funny if they gave me two of the same parts of the wings, right? I'm sure that has happened to uh, some of you guys out there, because Hasbro is always messing up. But yeah, here is Venom with the wings. Eh, pretty decent. I mean, not too, not too shabby. There's the back of the wings. Uh, let me pull out. They don't seem to be, um, they don't seem to be pegged in there all that much. I might have to warm them up. Okay, so I definitely say warm up the wings first. They're much easier to get in there. So obviously there is the Venom with the wings, and yeah, he looks cool. Uh, I mean, Venom, he looks just as cool without the wings, but yeah, I mean, the wings do add a really cool touch to it. Um... And they are, of course, articulated. They are two pieces, as you guys can see there. You can bring them up, bring them down. They're a little warm, so that's how they're sitting right now. Kind of puts them a little bit off balance. Um, I mean, Marvel, Leg Marvel Legends, this is one of their best Venoms, I think, ever done. Their best Venom bodies ever done. I do like the big, bulky version of Venom, but at the same time, I, I like them. I'm not going to complain. I like them a lot. Um, and then here is Noel, um, right here. So let's check out the articulation on this guy. He, yeah, he doesn't look too bad. I mean, I wish there was a little bit more paint apps on his face. His face is really, really pale and not much is going on there. Um, you know, typical, typical Marvel Legends articulation, double jointed el elbows and all that great stuff. Let's see articulation. Yep. Right there. He does have this dumb right here, dumb thing. I don't know why they don't give us the rotation. I don't know why they're still making figures like these. Maybe they had like a leftover mold, but he doesn't have any rotation at all in his torso. Just the up and down bullshit. Uh, the bend and then the knee. And yeah, I mean, he's pretty decent. Let's put the sword in his hand. Maybe I'll feel differently about the sword. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks great. He looks great. I feel like I can use this sword for something else though. <laughs> but he looks good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, he does look good. Pretty decent. What do you guys think? Yay, nay. I like him. So let's do a quick measurement of these two guys. Um I don't know, I think I might like this head a little bit better. We'll do a, a head swappage in a moment. Uh so let me see. No stands. Um about eight inches so yeah he's a big guy he's at eight inches tall bro just actually a little bit over eight inches with his hair venom he stands about seven and three eighth tall that's just a little under eight inches so yeah venom is a big big guy as well so the wingspan on this guy we'll say it's about 20 inches 20 inches that's about over a foot over a foot and a half maybe so yeah I like them guys let's do a little head swappage and then I'm gonna give you uh, actually we'll do some comparisons and I'll then I'll give you my rating okay so yeah we put this head sculpt on him he looks good if he didn't have the wings I think the pink tongue and the pink gums kind of adds a lot especially when you have the wings on this venom um, I mean, he looks just as good without the wings, and the wings are kind of, like, sagging, so I, I don't know, man. <laughs> um, I mean, what can I say? Um, man, this is a tough one. Uh, I like the Venom overall. The wings, they don't really add much. 
I mean, they're nice, but at the same time, you know what? Let me put the head skull back on the, with the tongue. Okay, so this head skull with the tongue definitely goes better with the wings. Um, you know, I thought I would like this figure more than I thought I would, but no, not really. I mean, he's nice. The wings are really nicely done. The Venom is do nicely done, but I like just my classic Venom. I think the wings are just a little bit too much. Um, Noel is kind of whatever. It's kind of a lackluster, kind of lackluster, you know what I mean? Venom is great. I love the Venom. So I think Venom by itself, obviously, with the classic logo and on this body, it's a 9 out of 10. With the wings, I don't think it adds much, you know what I mean? A Venom with wings, I just it doesn't really add much. No, I, I don't know. I probably would give him like a 6.5. Not much paint apps on this guy. I think a lot of people are just buying uh, this two set just to get this Venom right here with the classic logo because it was a cash grab for Hasbro. So, and I think the wings were a little bit of a of an incentive. You know, I think if they didn't include the wings, I think I don't know. Maybe a lot of people probably wouldn't have picked this Venom up. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. You know, I'm. It depends on how dedicated of a Marvel Legends fan you are. So. Um, you know, it's a decent, I'm going to rate the two pack overall. I would probably give it like a 6.8, um, overall, um, maybe, maybe a 6.9, maybe. I think the star of the show is definitely Venom, the wings and Null, eh, they're kind of whatever. Uh, I, I just kind of like Venom as is, guys, um. I mean, Noel, maybe Noel will grow on me. He he does look pretty cool. He does look pretty interesting. Maybe if I do add a little bit more paint apps on him. Yeah, maybe. Is it worth the price point? No, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are two big characters. He does come with an interchangeable head and then some interchangeable fists as well. And, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess maybe, you know, I think the, right now I think they sit at the 70 mark. I don't know if they're. I don't know if it's worth seventy. I would probably say sixty, but they included the wings, and these are two big figures. You know, almost eight inch figures. So I don't know. I guess it's a. I guess it's okay, priced decently. I, I probably would have seen it at the sixty mark, like a lot of you guys, but I, I understand the seventy mark. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing more I can say, man. Uh, We'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, let me know how you feel about this two-pack. Did you pick it up or was it a pass? It was going to be a pass for me, but, you know, sometimes you just need to buy some figures to see. All right, you need to get them in your hands. You're like, okay, I gotcha. But, yeah, I think if you're not a Marvel Legends fan, then it's a pass, of course. If you're a Venom fan, I mean, I don't know. I like the Venom. The Noel is all right. The wings are all right. So it's really up to you guys. I can't tell you what to buy. Would I recommend it? Uh, not really. I actually do the, prefer the bigger, bulkier Venom uh, over this one. So he, he's all right. Would leave it at that. <laughs> There's nothing more I can say. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.